everyone! Welcome to Discovery Time. My name is Emery and I work at the Plano Public Library. Discovery Time is ideal for children between the ages of three to five years, but of course everyone is welcome to join. In Discovery Time, we will explore new concepts appropriate for this age group and complete a simple hands-on activity at the end. Grown-ups, these are the supplies we will use just in case you want to gather them now. A small cup, water, dish soap, a plastic pipette or a straw, a soft towel, and scissors. Today in Discovery Time, you can expect a flannel, three rhymes and songs, and a really fun hands-on activity. Now let's kick things off with our welcome song. Can everyone get your hands up? Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. First we'll clap our hands just so. One, two, three, four. Then we'll stretch and touch our toes. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now we're here, let's have some fun. Thank you so much for singing the welcome song with me. Now our discovery time theme for today is one of our favorite things here at Plano Public Library. Can you guess what it is? Bubbles! That's right! Bubbles are so fun to play with, but as we all know, they also pop very easily. Bubbles are created from a very thin layer of soapy water that has air inside it. So all of our songs, rhymes, and flannels to today will be all about bubbles. Our Discovery Time activity will also be about making and catching bubbles. Let's get started! Up first we have our Bubbles Rhyme, and this is to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And for this song, you can make the sign for bubbles using your index finger and your thumb to make the shape of a bubble. Bubbles, bubbles all around, bubbles big and bubbles round, bubbles on my toes and nose, blow a bubble up it goes, bubbles, bubbles all around, bubbles floating to the ground. Oh, that was such a fun song, wasn't it? Well, next up we have a flannel called Colorful Bubbles by Katherine Roach. Colorful bubbles floating by. What are the colors that we spy? Bubble, bubble on your head. Funny bubbles colored red. Bubble, bubble, what do you think? Soapy bubbles colored pink. Bubble bubble on your elbow. Bouncy bubbles colored yellow. Bubble bubble with a beautiful sheen. Pretty bubbles colored green. Bubble bubble on my shoe. <gasps> Lovely bubbles colored blue. Bubble bubble, soapy circle. Happy bubbles colored purple. Blowing bubbles is so much fun, but now my bubble fun is done. Can you count, help me count how many bubbles we have today? One, two, three, four, Five, six, great job everyone. All right, our next song is from Jay Brewery and it's called There Are Bubbles in the Air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. There are bubbles in the air, there are bubbles everywhere. There are bubbles in the air, in the air. 
There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way up high, way up high in the sky. There are bubbles way up high, way up high. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. There are bubbles way down low and they tickle all your toes. There are bubbles way down low, way down low. That was wonderful, everyone. We have one more song left today and I bet you can guess what it's about. Bubbles, that's right. It's another Jay Brewery song called Bubble Bubble Pop. One little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop. Great job, everyone. Oh, I just love singing about bubbles. Now it's our activity time. In case your grown up stepped away while we had all the fun, let's call them back and make sure they don't miss out on activity time. On the count of three, we're all going to say, Oh, grown up, it's activity time. Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, grown up, it's activity time. In today's activity, we will learn how to make bubble solution at home. The only ingredients you will need for the solution are water and dish soap. You can make a bubble wand out of a plastic pipette, a pipe cleaner, or even a straw. You may need some help from a grown-up while making the bubble wand. While you're gathering supplies, also grab a towel or a soft glove. We will use this at the end of our activity. You can press pause now while you gather your items. Remember, you can do the activity along with me, or you can watch first and do the hands-on part after. Anytime you need to, just press pause and I will wait right here. try to catch it with your hand. What happened? Were you able to catch it or did it pop? Now try blowing a bubble so that it lands on a soft towel or a soft glove. What did you observe? What happened to the bubble? Bubbles pop when they land on something that pokes through the soapy film, but they also pop when the water between the soapy film surface evaporates, which is the process of a liquid turning into a gas. Why do you think it was difficult to catch the bubble with your hand, but it was so easy to catch a bubble with a towel or a soft glove? Well, if your hand is dry, the bubble will usually pop because your skin attracts the water molecules in the bubble. Towels are made up of a lot of teeny tiny fibers and these fibers work together to catch a bubble and hold it up. Try experimenting with different fabrics, such as carpet, aluminum foil, or wood, and see which ones catch bubbles easily. This program introduced the science behind bubbles and why they pop when they touch our hands versus when they touch a soft towel or glove. This is relevant to preschoolers because it introduces basic science concepts such as chemistry, surface tension, and elasticity. This program also introduced and reinforces early literacy skills, and those include playing, talking, reading, and writing. Blowing bubbles is great for developing visual tracking skills in small babies, 
hand-eye coordination in older babies, and for strengthening lips and mouths in toddlers to form word sounds. All of these will strengthen their reading and writing skills later in life. Bet you didn't know bubbles could be so educational. Plus, they are cheap and fun. If you'd like to learn more about bubbles, check out our Easy Collection and our Junior Nonfiction Collection for more books about bubbles. I had a great time learning about bubbles with you today. Visit our website to see our calendar of upcoming programs and check out the Plano Library Learns blog for more learning opportunities. Now let's sing our goodbye song. Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye, we'll see you all next time. Bye everyone!